Good morning. I have not went to sleep yet, so I might as well give y'all this review of Boruto episode. Whatever episode this is, y'all can read the title. <laughs> but it's gonna be a short video because this episode nothing really happened. This was mostly a uh, aftermath of what happened last episode, which was Ow killing Mugino. So. Team 7 is basically recovering after what they just witnessed and went through. None of them expected Al to be working for Kata. And they were just distraught. They were hurt. Al used to be a shinobi who helped the allied forces. And now he's working for the enemy trying to kill all of them. No one seems to know why Al is working for them. And you could see Kataste just shouldering the blame for it. It was because he was put under Genjutsu that they were able to take some of his knowledge of the scientific ninja tools and use it against him and everyone else. He blames himself. He thinks it's his fault that this situation happened. He thinks it's his fault, it's his fault that basically Mugino died. So it was just the whole episode, just them just taking in what just happened and Boruto takes upon himself to try and help Katasuke through his situation saying he's learned from what he saw back at the laboratory that these tools can be used to help people and that Katasuke really meant to create these things to help others not for violence or to hurt people so they really just help Katasuke try to understand that it's not his fault and that it is all Kata's doing. As well as they were trying to figure out what was the best situation, what is the best plan to take down Al. And they were able to come up with a small scenario of a chance of opening. So it, when Al used Katasuke's absorption ninja tool there's like a second delay and they're they're going to be using that chance to basically take down Al but they know it's not going to be easy so they're just sitting down trying to plan everything making sure they have everything in order to take Al down at first Konohamaru was against the plan he just wanted them to head back to the Lee village to take the intel and he wanted to deal Al alone but Team 7 wasn't with that plan at all. They wanted to stick around with Konohamaru and fight out together. So that is the situation they're in. Later we find out back at Kata headquarters that not everyone trusts each other. We see Delta and Ko basically going at each other trying to see which one of them is the spy, which one of them is the traitor. And it doesn't seem like they're going anywhere with the situation. Cole basically trying to get in Delta's head, vice versa. And they're just going back and forth. And nothing seems to resolve until Amado comes and just try to de-escalate the situation. Saying he did the maintenance on both of them to try and resolve this in a peaceful way without resorting to violence. Even though there wasn't enough data to assume anyone's a traitor however Delta pretty much assumes that he could be the traitor as well Amara told Delta that even though there wasn't enough information to tell that she was a spy there's still not enough information to prove that she's innocent as well so it's pretty much at a stalemate at Kata headquarters that's pretty much all there is was to the episode nothing Big, ma nothing big happened, nothing major went on with this episode. It was just, it's just a stalemate. Just everybody. Oh, I am forgetting one thing. Oh, so we see Al on his way trying to find Team 7, and he runs into Kashin Kojin. And basically, Koji just want to test him to see if he's really willing to give up the ninja life. Is he willing to just 
throw away all his emotions, all his attachment in order to work for Kata. Cause at this point it seems like Koji has his doubts about Al and he wants to make sure Al proves himself and he's given him the task to kill Team 7 instead of himself. This is all a test to see if Al is really part of Kata. And if he's not, then I'm guessing they're just gonna dispose of him like they did with Victor. So we're just gonna have to see next episode. Based on a preview, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fight. They're gonna be struggling to try to take down Al, and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen, how they plan on animating it. Cause I'm this was a good fight in the manga, so I'm ready to see this in action. Overall, this episode was. It was okay. The art and animation was just to me it was just mostly like a slideshow. It was pretty bland. Movement was just stiff, rigid, and it wasn't it was boring. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was boring and not very pleasing to watch. It was just it was just an episode just seeing how everyone felt and nothing more to it so i guess yeah we have i'm guessing we need those breathing episodes for what's about to come later on so it's not that bad but i'm just ready to get into the action to seeing the later parts of this arc because this arc is gonna go crazy and I'm just excited to see what happens next. So how do y'all feel about the episode? Did y'all enjoy it? Did, did y'all dislike it? Leave a comment below. And I'll see y'all next week for the battle against Al. Let's see how they fare against this little situation they're in. Because Al's going to kill them. So thanks for watching. I'm going to bed because I'm tired.